What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing our XJ rear frame stiffeners. Um, these are a little difficult to install, so you're definitely going to want some experience if you're planning on installing these yourself. Um, they do take quite a bit of work to put in. But uh, starting off, you're going to have to remove your gas tank to get in to weld along this whole edge here, which when you're welding the frame stiffener in, you know, you want to weld this thing as solid as you possibly can. So you're going to have to remove your gas tank, get that out of the way. Uh, you're going to have to take your bump stop off. Um, there's two other bolts here. I'm not really sure what those are for, but you can leave them in, you can take them out. It doesn't matter. The, uh, they'll fit right around these two holes. Um, the only thing different on this side, you have to take this off. I would recommend taking, would recommend taking your filler hoses out, get them out of the way, take them out with your gas tank. But this is actually the shield that goes up right in here. You have to take that off. Um, and when you put it back on, you'll use the two supplied um, self toppers to put this up through your stiffener. So once you get this, everything out of the way, get your gas, the gas tank's in this one obviously still, but uh, take it out. Get everything up in here. Now these will, be, these will be straight, so you're gonna have to bend this around the fit. But basically, you just wanna line up everything. You can use your bump stop. You can bolt that back up to actually suck this in. But you wanna make sure all your holes are lined up. It took me, I used quite a few clamps, you know, clamp it nice and tight the whole way along here. Um, and even before you even go and put this in, make sure you clean. I went and marked it with a Sharpie just so I could clean all my edges where I'm gonna be welding. I want everything clean, nice welds holding these in. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I'll show you the other side. We have on and done already. Okay, so once these are in, you have them welded in. Uh, this is what they're gonna look like. I don't have this one welded all the way around uh, just because I left the gas tank in. But it's welded about as solid as I could get it the whole way around. I forgot to mention this piece. So after you get this, get this all clamped up and everything. And then this piece, you just line up. It goes right in the groove here. There's enough room around that you can weld all the way around it once you have everything up in place. So yeah, tack everything in, get it all nice and tight, and weld it solid.